Hey guys, this is Tom. Uh, welcome to uh, something new. Uh, my plan here is that I'm going to be playing games that um, I won't be doing on Bird and Nando and Friends. Uh, we're going to be playing. Uh, we're going to be playing them a lot longer than we normally would. Uh, each of these episodes is probably going to be somewhere between an hour and two hours, uh, sometimes three, depending on where we're at. Um, but since my schedule doesn't really allow me to ske- to uh, stream in the evenings, we're going to be doing this. Um, so you can catch Ando's streams um, on Saturdays, and these videos will be up the following Saturdays. Um, so you'll catch those on Saturday mornings. So here we go. We're playing Legacy of Cain Blood Omen. There is a magical operation of maximum importance. The initiation of a new aeon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. So here we go. I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes because there aren't any um, there aren't any subtitles in this game because it's like from 1996. So enjoy this cutscene, and I'll be back. The tavern's closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveller from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul. Forced to the road and the long, bitter night. So I may have streamed this, um, I think it was more than, more than a year ago. Um, so when I played this initially, and I'm sure I've talked about it on the show before, but um, if you run into these guys, the first time I played this game, what I didn't realize was is you're supposed to die here. So I, <laughs> I kept running into enemies and getting fucking gang busted and couldn't figure out why this game was so hard. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna let him kill me. Now! But I seriously sat at this part for, I don't know, forever, and never picked it up again. Ironic that now I was the one suffering. 
Not anything as pedestrian as physical pain, rather the cruel jab of impotent anger. The hunger. Sexy fire gif. I didn't care if I was in heaven or hell. All I wanted was to kill my assassins. Sometimes. You Let me just jam my thumb right in here. The necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. <laughs> you will have the blood you hunger for. The beginning of this game is very plot heavy, so there's going to be a lot of uh, cutscenes and me letting the characters talk, but we'll get started here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so seriously, never came back to it because I kept getting killed. I awoke to the pain of a new existence in a dank womb of darkness and decay. All right, so let me go through my options here and see what I can do. So I don't have any of this yet. I can go unarmed. And I guess that's about all I can do right now. I thought there was a way to zoom out the map. Because I feel like this... Because I originally played this on the PC. I feel... There it is. Yeah, but see, that seems... The sanctuary spell enables me to travel to my crypt where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. So yeah, so anyway, so this is uh, Blood Omen. Uh, this is the only game out of the Legacy of Cain series that is played like this. Everything else is sort of a uh, Legend of Zelda style 3D platformer um except for defiance which is more like a uh the heart of darkness restores devil may cry on life life is precious janos discovered as it was torn throbbing and bleeding from his own body see that's the heart of darkness that's basically just a um a health up item um this ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed, for with it my life force is increased. Okay, there we go. Okay, so circles, I drink people's blood. So yeah, you have to in this game you have to drink people's blood to get. These ancient uh, symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. Mana. That was a long way to say mana. This is where I save. Within the walls of these chambers, I could find Please respite. Just... And if oh, I so God. chose, resume it's gotta go my through the dialogue before I can save. Abated. And we save now. Yay! So I am playing the um, PlayStation 1 version of this game. Uh, I had originally played it on PC. Uh, and when you play it on PC, if I'm not mistaken... I don't know if I just played it like this or whether this is how it's set up in the PC version. Uh, and I can show you here in a second as soon as the game loads back in. Um, I believe it played more like this rather than zoomed in like this, which may be just a limitation of the PlayStation 1. But um, So yeah, so this is the only game in the series that plays like this. Um, this is the first game in the series. Um, and it features... Excuse me, Kane. Um, if you've played any of the other games, uh, mainly Soul Reaver 1, 2, or... Um... The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. For in the embrace of the sun, I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse, along with other things. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. Um, so yeah, and then I believe, oh god, um, the last game in the series, uh, it plays more like a Devil May Cry game, as I mentioned, but, um, 
so the timeline of this game, these games is very confusing. And I'll see if I can explain in a way that makes sense without sounding completely insane. So this is obviously the first game in the series. And at the end of this game, you make a decision. And that decision... Not that it doesn't matter, um, but in um, in Soul Reaver, the beginning of that game is based on whether or not you make the bad decision. So that game only exists because bad decision is made. Um, and so Soul Reaver takes place, I don't know, hundreds of years after this game, after the bad choice. And then in Soul Reaver 2, you go back in time to before the events of this game. And fight yourself? It's really confusing. And it sounds stupid when I have to explain it. In the context of the series, it makes a lot of sense. But in... Just it's one of those things where, like, out of context, it just it absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, you go back and fight yourself, and then Defiance, which I finally remember the name of. In Defiance, you go back even further. Yes, you go back even further, but also. Yeah, you go back even further, but there are, like, characters that show up in Defiance, like, hundreds of years before the events of Soul Reaver, and there are Soul Reaver characters that show up. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, and they don't really explain it. Okay, so I basically just picked up a projectile. There's a lot of explanation of, um... Sanctuary. Can I? Yeah, I want to equip it. Sanctuary. Okay. So I can't. Iron sword. Yeah. We want to do you over there. Flay. Can I? Oh, I have to hit start. Okay. So let's see if I can figure out how to equip items. Okay. That's. Oh. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Okay. So that is the right. That is R2. That's really weird. I'm so confused. When, I, when I'm playing this game on the PS1, it's kind of confusing because it uses weird buttons. Um, like that brings up, like R2 brings up your item menu. And I'm sure R1 brings up, yeah, R1 brings up your spell menu. It's just kind of weird. And I don't really know how to, yeah. But I don't want to activate that. Okay, there we go. All right. So there's another Heart of Darkness. Um, so yeah, so in this game you play as Cain, like a nobleman or whatever. And there's basically they, there's some guys that just kind of show up and kill the shit out of you, and there's really no explanation, which is why when I played this originally, I just died and quit playing the game, um, because I started the series with, um, I started the series with uh, Soul Reaver, um, because I actually played it on a PS1 demo disc. Um, and some of you might know the one I'm talking about. Uh, it was on a PS1 demo disc, and I can't remember what else was on it. Maybe maybe a Tomb Raider? And Unholy War. Unholy War was definitely on it. Um, but that's how I got into this series, was through that game. Um, and it's still one of my favorites. Is that really it? I'm back at the beginning again. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's one of my favorites in the series. Um, but going back to it, 
um, is kind of difficult. It doesn't it doesn't play as smooth as I remember, uh, and there are a lot of uh, block puzzles, which is very very strange. Um, because I'm actually going to play uh, Soul Reaver for uh, Bird and Ando and friends um, soon. Uh, I don't know when it might be my next playthrough. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it doesn't um, it doesn't quite hold up as well Hunger as. And weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. <laughs> yeah, so it just doesn't hold up. It, it doesn't hold up quite as well as I remembered it. What trickery is this? Their sneering faces were forever etched upon my memory. I had crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty save for one thought. I would kill. There is no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With my assassins dead, my quest was over. <laughs> So, yeah, so basically we've come back. Uh, Mortanius, that guy we saw in the cutscene, uh, brings us back. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters, look to the pillars, and gain way to the fortress of the mind. That's uh, Tony J, I believe his name is, and unfortunately... He's part of the reason why the series doesn't really exist anymore. Um, hold on, I'll explain that in a minute. This was where the bloody deed of my murder took place. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's part of the reason why the series kind of fell off and doesn't exist anymore. Um, and it's not because he's an asshole, uh, because he plays Mortanius in this game, um, but he actually plays the Elder God in um, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, uh, Defiance. So um, he plays such a pivotal role in those games um, after after this one that um, they didn't really know what to do in terms of using him, using that character again because he has such an iconic voice, and I'm sure you've heard him. Um, I don't remember. He's been in some Disney films and stuff like that. He's always playing a villain. Um, but yeah, so he's part of the reason why the series doesn't exist anymore. Um, the other thing, the other issue was, is that there was a game that they started to work on after Defiance, um, but I don't know whether it got scrapped. It got scrapped, but nobody's quite sure... I don't remember what exactly the reasoning was that it got scrapped, whether they weren't happy with it or they weren't, uh, whether they didn't think it was on target with the rest of the story or what, but, uh, they didn't seem to be happy with the way that it turned out. So they ended up scrapping it. Um, yeah. And then there was, <laughs> and then there was, the uh, ill-fated Nosgoth, which is the terrible, 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 terrible uh, online multiplayer version of this series, which nobody asked for and nobody wanted. Um, it was originally planned as a as a multiplayer mode to a new uh, game in the series. But they ended up scrapping the this. The had offered me no warning as to what my resurrection would entail. And yet I must confess in my haste I had not sought one. Was his gift a curse? I would seek the pillars for an answer. Um, yeah, I believe it was called Dark Sun. It takes place... <gasps> it was supposed to have taken place several years after... Soul Reaver, which is a hundred years after this. I know this is already confusing. Um, if I still have, I wish I had a picture of the napkin, and I'm sure you've heard this story. But if you haven't, I'll tell it anyway. 
Uh, Bird and I were at a diner one time talking about this series, and uh, he basically asked me to explain how the timeline of this series work worked, and I wrote it down on like a napkin in a diner, and it was the most ridiculous thing ever, and I'm kind of disappointed that I don't still have it, because uh, it would be funny as hell to show on the show. Um, <laughs> come on. I fucking hate these guys. Um, but yeah. So, the timeline is confusing. Characters kind of show up in random places that maybe aren't supposed to be there. Obviously not this early. Uh, things don't get sort of chronologically confused until, like, Soul Reaver 2 into Blood Omen 2. And Blood Omen 2 is another one that I'll definitely be playing on this show rather than um, on Bird, Nando, and Friends. Um, just because it's it's not a bad game, but it's not a good game. And it actually... Things that happen in that game happen because of things that happen in Defiance. <laughs> which is really confusing. Um... But like characters get resurrected As in defiance. Darkness, the vampire's power wanes. <laughs> uh, characters get resurrected in defiance, and things happen in it. Hold on. The pillars of Nosgoth. Even in life, few sights have moved me such as this. I marvel that such beauty should grace our dying world. Okay, so that's where we're headed. We're headed to the pillars. But yeah, the the timelines of the games get really confusing after a while. All right, so we're going to the pillars. This is actually a uh, joke here. The, this is the pillar. These are the pillars of this story. Um, anything that happens in the series has a lot to do with this area. Napraptor, your madness has shattered our dreams and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. I'm only a shadow of my former self, Ari, the balance of the Circle of Nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. I seek only a cure. There is no cure for death, only release. You must destroy the sorcery, the sorcery that is now poisoning Nosgoth. Only then will you realize peace. The Nine of the Protectors of Hope were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the Circle crumbling the very foundation of Nosgoth. You must restore balance. You must right the pillars of Nosgoth. I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware the unspoken. Boogin! So that's Ariel. I'm sure he's going to talk again. So I'm just going to wait for it to happen. Not prep. There we go. With his blind act of vengeance, threatened to destroy all of Nosgoth. Each circle member was bonded to the pillar he served. The pillars reflected the mental state of their servants, and as the minds of the circle degenerated and descended farther into dementia, the pillars crumbled. To restore them, each member of the circle had to die, and the artifact that served as their link to the pillar had to be returned. Only when all the pillars were restored did Ariel claim my curse would end. All right. So, oh. my hunt for Nupraptor began. Yes. Okay. So let me make sure this is the right one. So I think this should take me... If I did it right, I didn't. I think I, think I have to go to the other one. Let's make sure. <clears throat> But anyway, so uh, the pillars are a big thing uh, in this series. Um, and Ariel 
when when we get to the end of the game when we make our choice uh ariel also appears at the pillars quite frequently as well okay cool these beacons serve as landmarks during my flights in bat form once i have committed their locations to memory i can always return in bat form, I can travel great distances with ease. From my vantage in the heavens, no region of Nosgoth is forbidden to me. Okay, so we've got to equip that, which I have to do in the other menu, not this one. How do I get out of... Okay. I don't know why it makes me do that. Um, but anyway, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. Sanctuary. I picked up the bat the form. Spell Stop. Enables no. me to travel to my crypt, I know what it does. My grave provides me respite. Sorry. I often resort to I'm like trying I'm to weak. figure out the buttons. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I, now, nope. Square. There we go. All right, I Play. picked it. No. Can I not do that here? Is that a different? Oh, you know what? <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I'm pretty sure this is one of the other... I'm pretty sure this is like L1 or L2 that I have to use for this. No? Okay. Triangle! Of course it's triangle and not a shoulder button. That would make sense. Um, but yeah, Ariel is... Okay, so I can't even go there yet. Um, but anyway... Ariel is uh, tied to the pillars, and surprisingly, as many times as we come back to this area um, around the pillars and things like that, um, and even come back in time, we never see the bosses. Uh, no. We never see the bosses from this game uh, ever again, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure why there i mean we, there is one that we see but he's also a vampire so it kind of makes sense um but like the the circle of nine we almost never see ever again and i'm not entirely sure why um because there are a lot of them are especially our for the first boss we fight here um is actually pretty fucking cool um in, I mean, in terms as cool as as cool as a boss fight can be in this game, um, because of the top-down perspective and stuff, the game sort of does things uh, not poor poorly is the wrong word, but they're not exactly the most like am amazing boss fights. Yeah, I know you want me to help you. Um, but the main mechanic of drinking blood... While it is true that natural light weakens a vampire, magical light can have many uses indeed. Um, so let's use that. How do I use that? Is it triangle? Nope, that's... That is the wrong thing. How do I use magic? Like that, X, okay. So basically all this does is let you see in dark areas. Uh, I don't re honestly don't remember using it that much in this game. Um, Cause the only places that are really dark in this game are like these tombs and you very rarely get to ones where you absolutely need light. Um, the magical light will occasionally help like help you spot traps and stuff like that, but not usually anything crazy. But the the drinking uh, the drinking of blood is a big yeah, see it fades out. So let's just use it. Because fuck it, we have it, why not? Um, that is a big health thing in um Defiance, uh, where you play as Kane again, uh, Blood Omen 2, and it's replaced by the eating of souls from Soul Reaver. Um, so it's sort of a big, it's always been sort of a mechanic in these games. Um, and the, the plot of the series gets, like this, this game in particular is all about, okay, it starts with revenge and then you, 
you know, you go into the plot of trying to uh, fix the, the the pillars of Nazgoth. Um, but as um, as the series progress, it gets it gets very like fatalistic. I would say um, it's all about you know can you know are we predestined to do certain things? Can we change our fate? Things like that. Um, the last game in the series, and I, I don't know how I keep doing the Defiance. Thank God. Um, Defiance, for some reason, um, is like, it's really, that's like it, the crux of the story is, okay, you know, we're repeating these events. Uh, can we change them to make the world better? Um, because basically, in that game, they're trying to decide if they can change... <coughs> basically ch undo what Kane does at the end of this game, which I'm fairly certain we're going to go for that ending um, just because why not? So if I remember correctly, you don't actually like with, with a lot of these um, item pickup dungeons, you don't, what the fuck? You don't necessarily have to do anything beyond pick up the item, but obviously there's shit in them, and like there are some later on, like when you get, because we have the, oh my god, shut up, uh, when we get the wolf form later and the mist form, um, the game wants you to use it, so it like locks you into the dungeon and you have to go through it. But like this, I believe I could have just turned around and left. I'm not sure, but... but yeah, the series gets very, very like fatalistic by the end. It's like, can we change our fate? Are we predestined to do these things? Um, whatever. So it's kind of, it gets a little, not heavy handed, um, cause it doesn't, it doesn't come off as some sort of edgelordy BS. Um, it raises a lot of good questions, I guess, but, uh, it is kind of, it can be a bit much, especially with all the time travel and all the other goofy shit that happens. Um, it can be, it can be a tough series to follow. Um, so we'll see in terms of games that we'll play on Burden and Ando and friends, we'll see which ones we get to, um, in terms of, uh, you know, Bird Nando and Friends LPs. Uh, I can guarantee you that I'll be doing Blood Omen 2 on on this show. Our uh, our uh, full length show. I don't know what we're gonna call this show yet. I was thinking about calling it um, uh, Long Plays, but I realized that's a thing that people look for on the internet. So you know. I don't want to confuse people. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, that's right. You can't drink blood from dogs in this game, which I guess I get. But am I in the wrong area? Oh, no. So I can walk in there? Okay. So we're about to get the wolf form, I guess. I didn't think we were doing this already, but here we are. So this basically is the only way you can jump in this game. My lupine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path. But the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. Uh, so basically all this wolf form does. Nope. Oh, it's triangle, Tom. We know this. I didn't want to do that. So I just used one of those because I'm dumb. Um, all right. So, so the wolf is really fast. But like, if I drink blood, I feel like I don't remember. I don't know if it uses up more blood. I just don't quite remember what the deal. Okay, so that's where I have to go. So I gotta go hit a button. 
can't go that way. Let's go this way, and then down. Yeah, okay. It's also because of the top-down perspective, sometimes it's hard to tell when you're at the edge. It's like I'm fairly... Fuck. I'm fairly certain that as Kane, and I could be wrong, but I feel like you can't walk into those pits. I, I can't remember why like, it, it says it brings its own hunger. I don't remember what the difference is there. Like, I don't know if it's just, if it runs through blood faster or what. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, so this is the only this is the only way you can jump in the game, and this is how you like. Night dawns, and with it, the vampire grows stronger. This is the only way that you can platform in this game, uh, Eric, because Kane can't. Now, Kane can't um, can't jump at all. So let's see if we need this here. Oh, is this where we came in? No, this is a different thing. Oh, shit. A lot of these guys, you can kind of... If you get in close enough... Oh, God, he is fucking wrecking my shit. Why am I not hitting this guy? Oh, shit. Let's, um, I'm gonna have to use one of those. I didn't want to, but here we are. Damn it, I did it again. Well, we got health back. All right, I'm gonna change this because I feel like, I just feel like I'm using it too much. I'm accidentally using it too much. Um, there we go. I guess I just wasn't at the right distance or something. Because I was getting fucking riggedy wrecked by that guy. Um, but yeah, so the only way you can platform in this game is by uh, using the wolf form. And it can get kind of confusing. Where the fuck does this go? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've played this. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's been so long since I've played this the whole way through that... Uh, Honestly, it's going to be like playing it for the first time. Uh, I've only ever beaten this game, I think, maybe twice. And um, the first time was a long, long time ago. Um, probably before... Sometime shortly before or shortly after uh, Soul Reaver 2 came out. So 2001, 2002. So it's been a long time it's been almost <laughs> it's been uh, almost probably god since i was in high school okay so i've got the the wolf form so now i need to change into that to get up to you so let's do that and we jump uh because we're trying to get up to Nop raptor's keep um, there's nothing else. The one benefit of being the wolf is that you can jump, obviously, um, and you're way faster. I feel like that's somewhere, it's like a, not a secret area, but an area you can get to. Um, okay, yeah, we're almost there. Um, can I get up here? Yeah, so this isn't where I need to go, but this is where this is. And I don't remember what exactly this is. Oh, is this just more? One must be wary in dealing with the spirit forges. The wraith and shades that inhabit them offer items beyond mortal dreams in exchange for a sampling of your blood. Uh -huh. The wraith smiths forge their items with forfeit souls. So I think this might just, they either give you more or they upgrade your weapon. Because this is this is part of the way that you upgrade your health as well. The 
if I'm not mistaken. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. So, you come to the Spirit Forge for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Sure. And it takes a lot of health to give me 14 of these uh, basically ninja stars. But, um, you know, I have some hearts of darkness. And that's the other thing I didn't mention. The hearts of darkness also act as a... Um, as like a... like Navi basically uh or like a well not navi but uh like a fa like a fairy in a bottle uh in legend of zelda if you die if you have one of these it'll bring you back um which is convenient um but let's keep pushing on here because we need to a we need to find some humans to kill because we need some fucking let's get this oh shit okay so i'm actually I need to... I'm going to have to use one. I hit fucking start again. And it takes forever to load in and out of that. Alright. So, how many do I have? I feel like not as many as I'd like. Yeah. Not as many as I'd like, but... More than I had anticipated. Alright, that should be good enough for now. Probably not worth what I paid for it, but oh well. So now that I've found this, I can uh, fly back here at any time. Can you... Why can't I jump down? Is there a certain spot I have to jump down in? Oh, I just gotta come back this way. And then I gotta come up here. I don't remember if there's any more platforming up here or not. I don't think there is. I don't remember how the day to night cycle works either. I don't know if it's time played or whether like it's based on like whether it's based on like specific things happening in the game. I don't quite remember. I mean, it seems like it just kind of happens, but I could be wrong because I don't think there's any time specific like, I don't think there's any points of the game where anything is specific to, oh, you have to do this during the night or you have to do this during the day. Um, because you can't control time in this game at all. So I would imagine that you probably can't do much with it. All right, so what do we got here? This is probably going to be like another item or something like that, which will be fine because I need to get some health. Okay, yes, yeah, so we need this. These fucking guys suck butt. Oh, shit. Ugh. All right, let's, um... Yeah, so that's what that does. Um, did I kill them both? No. Okay, so there's that guy. It's just... And I need to get rid of these guys. Because those fucking tracking fireball bullshits are the worst. God, it takes two. Okay, he's dead too. Yeah, those guys are the worst enemy in the game. Or at least one of the worst. Um, particularly in this dungeon, they're terrible. The energy bolt employs magical force in its okay. rawest form. A so that's going to be in this menu here. One nonetheless. Energy bolt. So this is cool. Because uh, it basically works the same way as that other item does. But I am almost dead. And luckily I saved right before I got injured. So, if I end up eating shit... Which I really don't hope... Oh, fuck. Ugh. The oh, of shit. Darkness. It's going to make me use it. I don't want to do that. Sanctuary. No. Sanctuary. 
The sanctuary spell enables me to travel. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's see what select does. See if I can load from there. Because I'd really not. I'd really like to use the least amount of hearts that I can. There we go. So what I might need to do is go outside and kill some of these guys and get some health. Yeah, because I've got, I have very little health there, so I'm going to need to do as much as I can. Okay, so I've got half health. I need to go outside and see if I can kill some of these guys. Those um, flaying stars that I have, as you saw when I killed those two regular guys before, um, they'll kill them instantly. But um, you can't drink their blood, so you don't get any health from them. Shit. Those are the easy guys, too. So I can skip this entirely. I don't even need to go there. I need that item eventually, I think. But you don't have to get it right now. But I'm going to go get it. Oh, okay. You're stuck on geometry, so that's cool. Yeah. See, now we're in a much better position here. Um, the one thing that does suck about the health bar, it is cool looking. But the one thing that does suck about it is that... Um, you can have health. There's health hidden basically behind. There's like a that little uh, gold piece at the top. Um, there is health hidden behind there. So you can not be at full health and not know it. Which is kind of strange. But um, yeah, that's. It's not a huge detriment because when you have that much health, um, it's not really like the worst but it is inconvenient to not be able to see all of your health. So I'm just going to kill this guy now because they have really long reach. And then we'll just fucking throw two. And it is nice that they track because otherwise it would just be a waste of fucking time. So then let's switch over to the energy bolt. A messy spell. Yeah, we, we know. We did this already, Kane. All right. So let's just fucking fire our fucking laser at that guy. And then we'll come up here and we'll fucking fire our laser at this guy. Oh, he's not even there. Shit. Ah. Fucker. See, that's the thing that sucks, is right now we don't have a lot of magic energy, so we can't really... Ah, fuck you! Son of a bitch. I have to kill this guy, too. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, let's, um... Let's switch over to our little flaying stars. I'm gonna just fucking launch two of these guys over there. See, now we have a little bit more magic. Let's get our magic back. Okay, cool. Uh, still low on health again, which isn't great. But um, I can't go in this room. Do I seriously have to go the other way? Son of a bitch. Well, that fucking sucks. It seems kind of pointless that they would even let you go this way. Oh, there must be buttons up there, because I can't go back. But it is awesome that there is health in the other room, so... Uh, oh, you know what we should do? We should use that thing it gave us. That thing I said we weren't going to use, but here we are using it. Oh, I know what it is. This is, an, this is a thing that happens during this game that I completely forgot about. So you have to use that to open the door. Now, that's a fucking asshole. Nope, come on, and then run away from the fireball. I am not a kind sir. I just need your health. Thanks. Hit the wrong button. There we go. 
Magic. Okay, so problem solved. Yeah, those guys get really annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese these monster guys out as much as possible if I can, because uh, they're just the absolute worst. They just spam. Well, I mean, you can see they spam the shit out of you um, with seemingly no benefit. Um, okay, so there's something I have to do. I can't use all of them. I feel like maybe it's this. Yep, that was it. Okay, so. Right, so I don't really. I don't really want to fuck around here. All right, so let's switch over to our flaying stars. We only have four left. Looking back on it, good thing we bought them, am I right? Just fucking wreck that guy, because we don't want to fucking deal with his dumb ass. Okay, and let's switch back to our fucking repulsor ray. So we've got enough magic, we can still use it, so that's fine. There's the switch. I am glad that you don't have to, like, whenever dealing with switches in this game, you don't have to, like, hit a button. Not that it's like, oh no, I can't hit a fucking button because I'm too lazy, but, like, it just is nice that you can just do it. Like, just walk into it. Great, more health. That's what I needed. I feel like that's mostly the reason. Like, obviously, this is one that I feel like it locks you out. But I am glad that there is some other benefits to being in this room other than... Can I even hit this guy? So I feel like it just hits... Oh, no, it does hit. I thought it was just going to hit the wall. So, where does this take me? This takes me back to the beginning. Okay, so. Let's um, switch back to our stars. We're not going to use them right now, but. All right, so we got, our, we got our magic thing. It seems like in the dungeons that they don't lock you out of, I think the, the incentive to go through it is to get um, cause I got a magic upgrade and a life upgrade in there. So I'm imagining that's what the most important thing to get in these things is. Um, but I just can't, I mean, uh, again, we saw in the, in the wolf one that it locks you out. So you have to use it. Um, but it seems like with these ones, all right, so let's kill this guy or he can walk into me. <laughs> And the game does kind of do this where it's like the characters are kind of so aggro that they like sort of walk through you and you can't hit them. It might happen once or twice as we go through the game more. I feel like it happens a lot more in the first boss area. getting wrecked by this asshole. Okay. So, knocked home is where we're headed. And I hit start. So, great. We're going to load for 10 minutes. And... Now. Yeah, close. Alright. So, knocked home is where we're headed. That's where uh, Nop Raptor is. Uh, and he's our first... Uh, circle of nine member that we fight. It's going to show it to me again. Yeah, I know. That's because that's where I wanted to go, game. But you can see right now, if it doesn't spill over, see, we still had health that we didn't have. It spills over when, obviously, when you're full on health, but... Um, <laughs> it's just... In, I get that it's a cool, like, design. But 
And again, it's so little of a difference, especially once you get later into the game. It's so little of a difference of what you have versus what you're missing. So it's not really like ultra important. All right, now this, I don't know if there's an actual way to not get hurt doing this, but you can't jump this. So uh, will it not let you do it? Oh, yeah, I just have to run it. I run it every time. And so like these are villagers. You can just fucking kill them if you want. They don't do anything. They don't hurt you. They just kind of walk around. Uh, Cause there's a couple of things you have to do in villages and stuff. Like this lady, for some reason, tries to slap you. I don't know why. But there are some, obviously there are some hostile enemies in areas. They're usually guards or fancy ladies trying to slap you. And you can kill, like, that bartender the walking back there, you can kill them. There's no reason to, because uh, you can't get anything from them. Like, they don't hold items or anything like that. Um, and the, I believe the weapons that you can kill them with are ones that you can't then get health from them. So it doesn't really matter. Ye towny taverny. All right. So what's this? Knocked home armory. Let's see if we can do anything in here. I don't remember if you can or not. I feel like most of the the weapons that you pick up in this game are just like go to a dungeon, get an art, get a weapon. Oh, you know, why do I feel like you have to come back here? Cause you get like a, this is gonna sound stupid, but you get like a human disguise later and you can come back here, like come back into town. What it accomplishes, I don't remember. Cause I feel like anytime there's something, like there's an icon on the floor, you can do something. But I don't really remember. And if you can upgrade armor, which I don't think you can, if you can do it, I've never done it. Um, there's actually a whole aspect of Soul Reaver 1 that I never did, which was... Um, so the game has the King's Tavern. Um, the game has... You fight a boss, you get his ability, right? Sort of a uh, Kirby kind of thing. Um, so like there's one, one of the bosses, he can swim. So when you fight him, you you don't get hurt by water anymore. Uh, that kind of shit. But, um, you can get like Legend of Zelda style, like upgrade things. Um, sort of like, um, like when you get the gems for beating each of the, the dungeons, uh, like Din's Fire. You get that special ability. There's those kinds of things that you can get in um, in Soul Reaver 1. And um, they require you to explore the areas and stuff like that. Um, and I'd never found them. Uh, I don't know how or why, but as a kid when I played it, and I must have played the game dozens of times, uh, but I, for some reason, never got them. I don't know how that's possible. Um because I remember playing that game and just absolutely scouring the earth for everything I could find in that game. And there's actually an area in the game um, that's like a human settlement. Uh, because the game takes place so far in the future, like humans basically aren't supposed to exist. Um, but there's like a human settlement that was supposed to be like a... a like an area that you go to to fight a boss or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and apparently they just decided to scrap it, but not scrap the area. Like they decided to scrap the boss or whatever, but not, but not the area. So you can go there and like basically just get free souls. All right, let's, um, I know that's a wolf platform. <laughs> Let's see if there's... There's sometimes there's items, you know, hidden sort of in the back there. 
Um, I feel like that is a way to go, but I feel like where we're supposed to go in this area isn't there. I didn't want to go in here. So I feel like when you get to a certain part in areas, um, there's one of those little red triangles in the ground and it kind of gives you a, here's how you get to the boss kind of thing. Um, that's almost exclusive shit. That's almost exclusively what the bat form is for. It's like you found the area next to the boss here, go to it. Use your bat form to get to the boss. I'm pretty sure this is going to be it, actually. Or is this where we came in? No. Ah! Come on now. We get an item to uh, hit those blocks with later. It's basically just like a mace. I was pretty sure we can't go there yet because we don't have we don't have the um, we don't have the item to break those rocks. Oh, here we go. The of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. The rain will do you no harm. For our blood preserved. Yay! So that's basically um, what these areas are for. Is it upgrades you... It upgrades your character. Um, so, like, now rain doesn't hurt me. And eventually it'll get to the point where the sun doesn't hurt me, blah, 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 blah. You know, we'll keep progressing the character as we go along. Um, but that happens at these... And then armor and weapons you pick up as you go along. I swore that area was the town that we were supposed to be in. Hey, Victor! Fucking not deal with that shit. Yeah, because there's a lot of boulders up here. I think this might be it, though. I don't want to think that the game just started raining to prove to me that I don't get hurt by the rain anymore, but you just never know. Okay, so we can't even go that way yet. So let's go in here and see what this is all about. See, and I just saw like a little hit spark from the rain, so I don't know if that's... I don't know what that's all about. Alright, am I full up on health? I am now, I guess. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Seriously? Do I have to, like, hit this? Can I... Okay. So I can't even get past this guy yet. I don't know what that's all about. I don't, I think, so I'm pretty sure it turns into an enemy, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there unless there's a button or something. Oh shit. Okay. Well, he just pushed me in there. So I guess we'll take a look again. Oh, the loading is rough. The loading is rough. Help me, Kaisa! <laughs> yeah, see, there's another one over there. Oh, God. So, oh, God. Oh, God, shut up. Oh, God. Please, shut up. See, I don't think I can do anything in there yet. I think I need the the, the mail breaker or the mace or whatever it's called uh, to do anything in there. Thank God. I did not want to fucking get knocked in there again. All right. Let's see what's over here. Because if this isn't the area... 
Well, here is this. Okay, so... So I guess that must have been the way to go. Because we can't... Uh, we can't go to Nup Raptor's keep yet. We have to get to that town that he's in. And I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't access his like area until we get to his town. And I thought this was the town, but I guess it wasn't. Okay, so we did that. We're going to go back and go to that uh, area off to the right. But the wolf is the best way to, like, just fucking speed run an area and get back. Okay, so this is where we came in. So this has to be... That has to be where we go. Because there's no other... No other explanation other than that. So let's just... Go up here. It's so weird and specific on, like, where you have to stand. I can't go in here. Seriously? So where the hell am I supposed to go then? Well, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but uh, I guess we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, finally. So what happened is, is that I'm actually supposed to go that way. Uh, towards the top, but I didn't, uh... Strength has increased for our blood enhances. It's not that I need the mace to hit those big gray boulders. It's that I need more strength to be able to push them. And I miss this on my way... Excuse me, on my way in. Which I'm not entirely sure how. But I did. So... We're gonna head back there now. But I am going to speed up again but I just want to let you know that that's what happened. All right, be back. Okay, so here we are. So basically all I needed to do was get that strength upgrade and I should be able to push these boulders no problem. So let's see if that works. And I might actually be able to go through this dungeon up here. Let's see if that's the case. Though I might still need uh, I might still need the mace to do this. I'm not sure. But we'll find out pretty quickly. Oh, please. Yeah, help there's going to be a lot of please help me kind sirs. Okay, so still can't do this one. But we'll get there eventually. All right. And I'm sure this guy's going to be, like, standing right outside of the door, ready to fucking ruin my shit. There he is. Yay. Let's just push this rock. Yay, we pushed it. Oh, man. These guys are fucking rough. There we go. All right, so Vassar Bunt is where I need to go. Where is this? All right, I think that... I think there might be just a, like a shortcut way to get up here. I don't remember. Let's see where this goes, and then uh, we definitely we know we need to go the other way. Oh, this is the um, this is the town. So we don't even want to be here right now because this is just going to be a lot of fucking problems for us. We can go up here. Let's do that. Let's go up there. Because the last time I didn't go somewhere, I had to dick around for 30 minutes. So, can't go there anyway. Great. Well, never mind then. Let's just fucking go where we're supposed to go. Oh, God. The loading is so rough. The gypsies. Purveyors of distrust and superstition. Ooh. Most of their babble should be taken with a pinch of salt, since the gypsies often tinker with weary travelers' minds. However, a few gypsies have something interesting to say. <laughs> Keen, that was not very nice. 
you can't just talk about gypsies like that. Generalizing about gypsies, legacy of Cain. Oh, okay. Anything? No? That was something else I did while I was speeding up, I think, is I hit a barrel and stuff came out of it, so now I'm going to try that at every fucking barrel I can. One of the things that we may see um, in some of the other areas, if I have to go back to them at all, um, or maybe I do have to go to that town. Shit. Because I have to get the human disguise, but I don't remember if that's here. Well, we'll find out. We'll go through this and see if it's here. Um, but one of the things that can happen in this game is, like, if you kill somebody in an area, like in a town or whatever. Or, I think we may have seen it the couple of times we've gone into that cave that uh, we can't really do anything in yet. Is if you kill somebody... Yeah, here it is. If you kill somebody... Well, hold on. ...beneath the human guys. The threat to my person is lessened, and much information can be gleaned. However, the illusion is flimsy, and any act of aggression on my part can break the spell. Um, so yeah, so if you kill an enemy, they show up as like kind of a ghost. And I don't remember if you can actually... I think you might be able to still get health, or you get mana from them. I honestly don't remember what the the benefit to that is. But like, so if we go into this town um, and I use this. So like I can actually talk to people now. Not Raptors keep lay west of Vassabunt. I would seek to cut the cancer from its heart. So now we can go to his area now that we've found that little um, found that little compass point, I guess you can call it. Um, but there are some, there are some things that you can get in here. And I don't remember, I don't remember exactly what they are. Some of these are worth going into, others aren't. Um, the area... That other little town, you can use the human guys to um, to talk to people. And there's like a, a leper or somebody that you can talk to um, in there. But I don't remember what the point of that is. All right, Village Smithy. Let's see if we can do anything in here in our human form. I don't think there is. Uh, so in this one there was some items oh shit but I don't know if that's only because I'm human or it was just there because it was fucking there I don't know um okay so let's just head to Nup Raptors Keep yeah let's just do that and then if we really want to we can come back to um, that little town later and talk to whoever. Later, bitch. Bye. All right. So now it shows up. Why can't I click on it? Why can't I? Why can't I do it? Why won't it let me do it? There it is. Apparently I had to hit right instead of up and down, which doesn't really make any sense. So, I think this said 96 is when this was made. And these cutscenes aren't bad for 96. They're not great. They're not amazing. But they're not bad. So what's weird about this is, is, and I get why it's like this, but like, I'm already in the town, but it takes you way far out and then runs you through the town to get up there. I get it. It's fine. It's an old game. It just needs to look cool, but it is kind of strange. So here we go. Nup Raptors Keep. 
Nope. So... Wait, really? Oh, shit. I thought that was going to take us there. It doesn't. It takes us to this town. Shit. So we might actually have to go back to that. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to have to go back to that area that I was talking about before. Poor Hagen, yeah. I know. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because see, there's a building there that we need the mace for. Let's just walk through this and see what we can find here. The wind carried screams from the west. I couldn't help but smile. Someone else in this world was suffering more than I. That's a little edgy, don't you think? Okay, so I think what we have to do is we do have to go back to that town. Because I think we need... I think we need the... Um... Oh, okay. Bad time for that. I ran out of magic. Oh, very bad time for that. Yeah, I think we need... Um... Oh, God, there's so many guys in here. <coughs> well, good for me that the guy didn't fucking pay attention. Well, shit. Damn it! The Heart of Darkness. Fuck! I keep swinging too much. Yeah, see, this is what I'm in here for, is to hit this switch. And then to get stuck and juggled. Like, I don't have enough... I don't have enough shit to deal with this right now. I'm gonna get fucking killed in about 30 seconds. Where does this even go? The gaping moor of Nupraptor's retreat rained upon Nosgoth all his pain and misery. Ugh. The disease begged to be cleansed. God. Do I even have any more? The heart of darkness. Okay. So just... Oh, God. I don't have... Okay. Just go. Just go. Just run away from everything. What the fuck is in here? Oh, okay. So this is this is it. All right. So let's save then, I guess. I thought, yeah, I thought I remembered like flying or something to get up there. I think maybe when you unlock this, that might be what happens. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. Let me, uh, let's see. Let's do that. Let's see if this helps. Because if I can stun at least one guy, I'll be, our, I'll be better with health. I just... Am I hitting him? I can't even fucking tell. I don't have any... Oh, thank God. Well, that worked out in my favor. Okay, so where are you? You're here. There is like um. I can't tell, like... It's just so hard to gauge your distance on enemies in this game. It's like you can't tell if you're close enough or you're too far away. I don't even know why I'm doing this, because I'm just going to get hurt. <coughs> yep, and that's exactly what's happening. So I'm basically back at square one. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Hopefully there's just, like, guys that I can... <coughs> yeah, that's good. 
Good. Give me some easy guys at the beginning here because I need some help. Is there, is this a, okay. I didn't know if that was an entrance or what the hell that was. At times, my magic extends into very exotic disciplines, such as the manipulation of time. I am able to slow time down so I can move about quick as a wolf while all others move as though they were mired in mud. Oh, that's right. So I still need that. I still need that weapon. I'm fairly sure. Okay, so here's one of these, like, specter guys. Why can't I? Oh, okay. Why can't I get past him? Because he was fucking blocking that shit, apparently. So let's see what happens if I kill this guy. I think it's just magic, but I could be wrong. Alright, so we're going to come back out of here. So I'm not entirely sure what I just did. I think I just got that ability is pretty much all I did. Because I thought... It seemed like... Let's find... Hold on. Let's, um... Let's try this. Yeah, we're going to try this. So it's actually completely unreal how dumb I am. This is literally the entrance. I'm just an idiot. So I don't know how much of that I sped up through, but I know there was a section that I definitely sped up in. So here we are. Nup Raptor's Keep. Um, I'm going to get used to this fucking shit eventually. Okay, so... And so turn that. Button. Ouch. The mentalist Nupraptor Jesus. Down through Nosgos for his tricks of the mind, telepathy, and telekinesis. Pilgrims traveled from all across the land seeking the comfort of his lies. I sought not his wisdom, but his life. Yeah. We're gonna kill this motherfucker. Help me, kind sir. <laughs> So one of the, the annoying things about dungeons, I mean, obviously it's nice that they give you health. Uh, there's just guys hanging around that you can uh, drink their blood. But um, one of the big problems is, is that those guys talk a lot. So it's very aggravating. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm probably gonna have to do this and like hit a button maybe. Or do I just have to cross it? I guess I just have to cross it. Which is kind of weird. It's weird that this is like a... I mean, I again, there's... There's, you know, guys to get health off of everywhere. But it just seems kind of weird that, like, the game wants you to take damage to get where you need to go. It's a very not, like... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's a very weird thing to do for a video game. Hey, Victor! Oh, those ones come back together, I think. So there's no point in you, ow. There's no point in even fighting them, I don't think. Um, as far as I remember, this area is pretty generous with life. Um, there's no reason to not... Not necessarily a full life, but to not have a decent amount of life. Um, but yeah, so this is our first circle of nine member, and I realized that it took us about an hour and a half to get here, but let's, uh, wrong fucking button. L1. I'm gonna, like, make a sticky note. Put it on the TV screen while I'm playing this. Okay, so let's go up then, I guess. Oops. Ugh. I keep wanting to cast magic with fucking triangle, and I don't know why. Okay, so that brings me the bridge. But as I mentioned before, like, with these arrow traps, it's like sometimes you can accidentally get hit by an arrow because you can't really tell where your character is. Because you actually have a hitbox more in front of your character than you do behind it. I 
also didn't realize how much that. <coughs> after shit talking the. Uh... Oh fuck! After shit talking the uh, the light spell, I feel like I've been using it more than I made it clear. You dare intrude upon my sanctuary? Can I not mourn in peace? Leave, leave, and let my solitude be complete. Hey, Victor! Okay, so they take about five hits. So that was Nup Raptor, if you couldn't tell. Looks like we're using that spell again. This game is really making me a fucking liar. Which is fine. Why not? There we go. All right. So yeah, there's a lot of arrow traps in this area. Go. Remember. Like a lot of these, a lot of these things are just like oh, I didn't want to do that. A lot of these um, locks to open other areas are just trial and error, basically. Um, they don't... Like, there's no real indicator of you know, what's the best way to take care of it. You know, obviously, because you can just kind of click through it. I didn't even need that, and I don't know why I did it. Yeah. There we go. I'll take the trade. It was worth it. So the the voice that's talking right now as we're proceeding through this level is actually Ariel. Oops. Ah uh, man. Is actually Ariel from uh she's talking to him before all of this shit happens. Since he's the mentalist, he sort of projects this shit into your mind or whatever. Alright. So I'm guessing oh, probably yep. Help me, guys. L1. I'm remembering guys, I'm doing it. I didn't equip it. That's fine, we can still use this. Okay, let's go this way. I came upon one of Nupraptor's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half words through bloodied, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, oh. allowing her to tell her story. No, I didn't. She spoke of her lord, Nupraptor, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny oh, the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. Nupraptor cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. <coughs> so there we go. So we learned a little bit more about Nup Raptor and why he's all fucking weird. Um, but the funny thing is, is like, you know, I walked in there and basically killed her instantly. <laughs> and the game's like, oh, but I didn't actually do that. No, but I did, though. The part that you don't get is that I did do it. The cretin squandered life and left it seeping on the floor. Such waste was a travesty. Perhaps Nup Raptor needed to be taught a lesson as to the value of blood. These fucking jester guys are the worst because they, like, summon those uh, zombie skeletons or whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Zombie skeletons. Yes, Tom, that's it. Okay, yeah, here we go. More of these assholes. So we gotta find... Yeah, okay, there's two of them now. And I'm gonna get caught here. Alright, let's, um... Let's... Let, ooh, let's try this out. Let's see if we can hit one of these guys with this. This is that uh, inside-out thing that we found from before. There we go. So it basically just makes them explode, which is fucking radical. Um, 
did it wait did it say that i don't have any hearts it did okay great that is not great guys not great Ugh. But yeah those jester guys are the worst oh okay we're we're like getting into it now Is this, uh, is this, this is probably not a save room. No, there's like, uh, this is like this weird. Yeah, okay, I remember this now. Wonder. Oh, it just didn't trigger. I was going to say, I feel like this, I remember doing this puzzle before and you have to like, you basically just have to follow where the light goes, but like sometimes it doesn't trigger right away. But if you use your light uh, spell, you can't see where you're supposed to go. <laughs> and I don't remember if this hurts you or what it does if you do it wrong, but uh, it basically sends you back in one way or another, back to the beginning. I've never been a fan of these kind of puzzles. It's like, okay, we get it. We have to walk along a specific path, but I think the only one that's like kind of halfway decent is the one in Metal Gear Solid 1. But even at that, you can kind of just Ignore it's not the right word, but not deal with it, I guess. So we have to do all four of these in order to fight him. Um, so we're going to do them. Um, I feel like that one was the lamest one, though. Like, there's some ones where you have to fight certain enemies or whatever, I think. It's kind of hard for me to remember right now, but we'll find out. I'm just going to ignore these guys because there's no point in fighting them. When conjured, the energy bank permits me access to mass amounts of magical energy for a brief period of time. However, when the moment passes, I will be drained of all magic, unable to cast even the simplest of spells. Yeah, it's a very weird... It's, it's cool that you can do it, but it's kind of a weird spell because it doesn't really... Like, it helps, but it kind of leaves you back to where you were, which I guess in a, in a scenario where you need to fight a bunch of enemies and cast a bunch of magic, it works, but um, it doesn't, it's not a, it's not a, it's a temporary solution to a long-term problem. Uh, it's not like in um, Eternal Darkness where you can use your... Uh, you can basically consistently replenish your magic with a spell, then use your spells to attack enemies. Okay, so how do I get the fuck? Out of here? Is this timed? Oh, that's right. Okay. And then I guess I have to switch to wolf form. Admittedly, I don't remember. I don't remember this area being as large as it now. So yeah, so trying to platform as the wolf in areas like this is not easy. Um, because it's so fast, it's. It's like, <laughs> it's a Jean Grey. I can't control it. Um, it's just a fucking mess to control. So what ends up being easier is just to switch between the wolf and Kane and just kind of go between the two and do it that way. Because um, otherwise you just like bash against everything and get hurt by everything. 
especially you know when it comes to spike traps and things like that you just fucking bang your head against everything I don't know if there's a specific order to do this in or not it doesn't seem like it really matters so um Wrong one. Let's uh, let's cast this bad boy. Oops. Nope. Let me kill these guys to see if there's anything down there. The thing on the floor is like I don't know if it's just like surprise bitch you got caught I'm guessing that's what it is because I don't really see any other benefit to it being there like it's not like an item you pick up or anything yep there we go so here's the boss fight hopefully I do this on hopefully I don't need any hearts of darkness because I don't have any Ooh, boy. Bay Victor! Ow. Stop it! That's good. I'll take that. So we're in the mouth of his little skull. Um. Bay Victor! There's some... There's some hearts that I saw before when we were outside, but I don't know that I can get them because I don't think I have. So I'm gonna need like I'm gonna need the uh, the mace to get them, I think. And we'll find out here in a second. Hopefully, there's at least one in here. Watch, there probably won't be. Um, oh, this is where you can look through his eyeballs. Through the skeleton for the for the skeleton's eyeballs. Yeah. So there's a health vial. So uh, it looks normal. That's great. But then, then if we go to the other side, I don't know what this middle one goes to. Oh, it just takes you down here. Should this object strike an enemy? Rot and decay would instantly eat their flesh and leave only a pool of blood and tissue. For a time after, the toxins are still active and therefore lethal to the touch. So that basically kills enemies and leaves them in a pile that you can't touch or From other enemies can't touch. the depths of the retreat's eye sockets, I viewed Nosgoth in a different fashion. The glass seemed to warp the image and taint the color. <laughs> As if Nosgoth needed assistance in making its corruption apparent. hey -o. All right, let's kill this motherfucker. Because I'm pretty sure we just like go through a couple more doors and we're there. It might actually just be this. Oh, thank God. There's one. One is better than zero. Two. I'll take two. Alright, is there anything else here? All right, let's step on this thing. All right. Fucking save this bitch. So my hope is that next time uh, I can move through this a little faster and not get as lost. But... Um, Turns out that this is the part of the game that I've been through the most recently, so, you know, it won't be a slog, and, and if, if there is some stuff we need to to work out, as usual, you know, I'll speed up through it or, or cut, um, so that way you guys aren't watching me get lost for like two hours. Oh, Malik, have you come to fail the circle once more? Leave, Paladin. I do not need your protection. Come, Cain. Come, share my pain. So yeah, that's also Tony J that we talked about earlier. 
Um, he does a lot of voices of characters in this game. Um, so we're going to... I don't remember what the best way to fight him is. I don't know that that's it. I think it's the... Let's just use a bunch of these and see what happens. So, this was the mentalist Nupraptor, this broken, pathetic little man. Yet crippled as he was, he would not yield without battle. Very well, old fool. If it is death you seek, I will not deny you. So, yeah, you can't... I thought you could use those, but apparently you can't. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just walk to where the pink one is, walk through it, and then go over and hit him again. This is a lot easier than I remembered. Okay, so we hit him. We hit him again. There we go. That's it. That was way easier than I remembered. The head of her beloved will convince Ariel that I have accomplished my task. There we go. So that was it. We kicked his ass. Yeah, that was uh, that was a much easier fight than I remembered. I thought there was more going on, but maybe I was just uh, hey. The mace is amongst my most useful of weapons, for it merely stuns my victims, allowing me ample time to feed. Oh. Yep, gotta go to the start menu for that one. Great, because that doesn't take forever to go through. Spiked mace. Can I equip it? The Circle? Mace. Square? Triangle? Oh, I have it equipped. Okay. Never mind. Bye. And... Now. Hey! So, that's what this is for. I don't know how that one broke, but... Okay, whatever. Blood! What's in here? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not saying no. So this should take me back to the pillar. And, uh, yeah. Again, it's like, these cutscenes aren't terrible. They're not, like, the best-looking things ever, but, you know, they're pretty decent. In 1996, would I believe that this is uh, me flying around as a bat? Sure. So in later games, they change, see how like their little logos, like Nupraptors is a brain and there's one that's like a skull over there and stuff. They, they change them all. So they look less hokey. They have like little symbols on them and stuff instead of having like <laughs> big dumb brain texture. I placed Nupraptors head before the pillar of the mind and watched on as it dissolved into the stone. The pillar of the mind. So we can actually go Not through these and look at them. But the Genesis, forever tainted by his madness, the circle was beyond redemption. For them, absolution lay only in death. In me, they would find their deliverance. But first I had to defeat their shepherd. Malik, defender of the Nine, lay in a keep to the far north, past Vasabunt. It was time for me to test the wrath of the Pillar of Conflict. The Pillar of Dimension. So, yeah, so we're going to be fighting Malik next, uh, and we will do that in the next episode. So thanks for watching, uh, and we will see you next time in uh, two weeks for more Legacy of Cain Blood Omen. Thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions for games that uh, you want to see me do a long play of or a solo let's play of, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit us up on Twitter or on Facebook. Thanks, guys.